Hello everyone, and welcome back to our training videos on ProPresenter 7. Today's video will be about themes. In ProPresenter 6 and before, themes were called templates. This is just a name change, it's the same thing under a different name. To find themes, if you go up to the top bar and click on theme, you'll get a drop down menu that will show you all your different themes and the ability to create a new theme. Now if you notice, in ProPresenter 7, we can now have folders for our themes. So if we go into New Vision, then we could pick New Vision Lyrics, and we could pick our full screen lyrics. We could also edit that theme, or we could delete that theme. But let's go ahead and make a new theme. So when you click New Theme, it'll ask you to rename it. So we'll name this one Test Theme. Save that. And that'll bring you into your theme editor. Another way to get into the theme editor would be to click these three dots in the top bar and then click theme editor. That'll bring you right into this look. So in the left column of the theme editor at the top you can choose what theme you are currently editing. So if we were to go up to New Vision Lyrics we'd now be editing the New Vision Lyrics theme. Next to it allows you to add a slide so if we were to add a slide, maybe we wanted to have another theme within New Vision Lyrics that was for Lower Thirds Lyrics. We could also select the size and whether or not it had a background. Now this would allow us to have two different looks of our lyrics in the same folder. Once you have a slide, you can then select a text box and format it just like you would in the presentation editor. And you can also add any new objects just like you would within the presentation editor as well. Now once you have your themes made, you can go back to show or control S and you can select one slide or multiple slides by holding command and then clicking on those slides. Or you could select one presentation or multiple presentations. Then go up to theme, pick your theme select it, and then it will change your songs into that format. Or say maybe you just wanted to change one slide or just a couple of slides, you could right click on that slide, go down to themes, go to the theme that you want, and select it, and then it'll just change that one slide to the new theme. Also, when you right-click on a slide, you have the ability to add a new theme, just like you could up at the top bar, but you can also create a new theme from this selection. You would just go ahead and name it and save it, and then it would create a theme based off of the formatting of the slide that you selected. We can also reorder these themes in this menu if we want to. If we were to go into our finder, so we'll go over there real fast, and find the folder within your computer that's labeled ProPresenter, then inside that folder you'll see all these folders. So you can click on themes, then you could see all of your different folders. So if I clicked on New Vision, you'd see all the different new visions. And then you can go ahead and rearrange within here. You can also create new folders in here. And then once you're done rearranging, so say I wanted to move test theme into the new vision, I would just click and drag and drop into there. Then I go back to ProPresenter, click on theme, and you'll notice that now test theme is within New Vision. But since this is just a test, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that theme. Notice when you delete a theme, you cannot undo this action, so that you can't undo once you've deleted it. Finally, we can export and import a theme. So to export, go to File, Export, Export Themes, you could export all of them, or you could unselect and just pick a specific theme if you wanted to, and you could export it. It would ask what you wanted to name it. You'd hit export. Then if you wanted to import a theme, you go to file, import file. 
you would find a theme, select it, and then click import. Then it will create a new folder for that theme that you had exported previously from maybe another machine and you wanted to have that same style on this machine. Thank you.